everybody, Lisa Roberry here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to share with you what I have been melting over the last week here. Um, it is definitely spring is in full force. I don't know that I'm, I'm in California and we didn't really get a spring. <laughs> we went from winter straight into summer. It was just a couple weeks ago. It was just nonstop rain. It was cold. And then now today it's like 86 degrees and I'm like, what, what is happening? Anyways, so this has prompted my want for home fragrance to be more fruity, clean smelling. So I didn't really lean towards my usual like heavy bakery type scents. So um, I did pull out this is the only exception here <laughs> and it is a bring back my bar from 2016 and that is lemon coconut chiffon. I have this stockpiled. Um, I love this scent. I really hope it comes back, which by the way, stay tuned for a video coming up tomorrow because it's just about to be bring back my bar voting time. So I'm going to do a whole separate video explaining what the heck bring back my bar is kind of what to expect, um, with the upcoming weeks and the voting process and all of that. So like I said, this one was back from 2016. I kind of hope it comes back again, <laughs> even though I have plenty, but, um, this, this is just such a good scent one of my all-time favorites it's a, an amazing performer but honestly even though i love this one so much i was just so like because it is a little bit it's like a lemon it's a sweet lemon pound cake so it is it's rich it's sweet it it is really nice but with this warmer weather i was just feeling like uh, i feel like it's a little too heavy for me so i did enjoy it but I was ready to kind of switch it out <laughs> when it was time. So um, that's lemon coconut chiffon. And I do have quite a few more of these. Um, but it was funny when I posted in my VIP group, um, a lot of my friends were like, oh man, I love that scent so much. So um, I know for those of you who are familiar with the scent, you know how amazing it is. So that's lemon coconut chiffon. So on to the more like cleaner or um, fruitier scents. I did break out the um, scent of the month for April, Johnny Appleseed. If you didn't see that video, I did a whole video on the scent and warmer of the month for April. So definitely check that one out. I love this. It is so good. And this is going to be amazing during like September. That's when I really get into like the apple scents right at the tail end of summer and right at the beginning of fall. I love this, but this is really nice and definitely one that you can enjoy during obviously the spring and summer months as well. It is, if you love apple press, you're going to love this scent. It is, it's crisp apples. And then you do get that little bit of pear on the back end. And it's so nice. I really, really like this one and it is a pretty decent performer. So I really like this one. So for you apple lovers out there. Johnny Appleseed is definitely one to try for April. Okay, moving on. Okay, kind of maybe a possible womp womp. <laughs> um, apricot vanilla. Okay. I think, okay. Uh, okay, let me. <laughs> I think I need to place this scent somewhere else. So I wanted to love this so, so much. I still love this so, so much on cold. I say on cold because honestly, when I had it warming, I didn't smell it at all. Not even a little bit. I have a crap ton of warmers <laughs> and I had this in the entire downstairs of my house. And even my husband was like, cause I, I, I leaned over to him and I was like, do you smell, do you smell anything? And he's like, no, I just figured you didn't put any wax in yet. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> so he didn't smell anything either. Here's my thought. Here's my thought process. My downstairs, it's a very open concept. I have really high ceilings and sometimes with these lighter scents, because I do think that this is going to be a lighter scent. I think this kind of needs to be a lighter scent because if it is going to have the power of 10, I feel like it would be a little bit too sweet and maybe even like headache inducing. Um, just because you do get it's peach, it's apricot, it's really, really sweet vanilla. 
it's very, very sweet. I still love this and I still have another bar of it that I'm going to try either in the upstairs or even what I think I'm going to do is um, take it to the office, take it to my dental office because it's it's a smaller space so I feel like it might perform better. Now with that being said, my friends who I told about this flop in my life <laughs> have actually told me they had a completely different experience. Um, one of my girlfriends, she was like, it's actually really super strong. She wound up hating the scent, but, um, <laughs> cause she's, she, she's not like a peach fan in any kind of way. And that's all she can smell in this. So she was like, you know, it, it actually performed really well. I just didn't like it. Um, and then another girlfriend of mine said, actually, this is like one of the better performers that I've picked up from this season. So I'm really hoping that either this one was a flop or just in my open concept, it just kind of got lost. So I, like I said, I have another bar of the apricot vanilla that I'm planning on warming either upstairs or, and or take to my office at work and enjoy it there. So we'll see how it goes. The verdict is still kind of out on this one, <laughs> but when I had it warming in my downstairs area, which is an open concept that does have really high ceilings, it just got lost. So that made me really sad, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not giving up on this one because I really want to love it. Okay, moving on. Uh, Amazon Rain. I love Amazon Rain. This is a really great clean scent. It is a really good, and I, I, I talk about this over and over and over again, so if you've been with me for a while, I apologize for sounding like a broken record. This smells like jasmine and lemon and lime to me. <laughs> and Scentsy doesn't say that there's any lime in this. It's, um, there is like a citrus note in here um, that Scentsy says, and I will read you the description. Um, Sensi says, set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. I don't get any coconut in this at all. I just get like a lemon lime jasmine. <laughs> so I really like this. This is a crazy good performer. This, if you have an open concept like myself and you like your scents really strong, I would highly suggest picking this one up. This is a great, great clean scent. It's just so nice. And I love that Scentsy actually has made this in our counter clean products. And you know, it's it's just branched out so much. Such an amazing scent. And it is an amazing performer. So um, I did get through a little bit of my Amazon ring because a little bit goes a long way with this guy. Next is Mandarin Grapefruit Amber. We enjoyed this at the office and this was a really nice scent as well. If you like those citrusy, clean scents, you gotta try this one. It is really, really nice. Um, it is, I, I get I get the separate grapefruit and like other citrus notes in here. Um, let me tell you what Scentsy says, but it just smells like different citrus notes in this. It's just the grapefruit and orange. And it's, it's just really nice. It's really clean. And am I going to be able to find this to tell you what it, what the Scentsy says about it? Okay. Uh, sweet mandarin and fresh grapefruit layered over warm amber. To me, I don't get any like warm amber from this. This is actually more, I, I find this to be more of like a fresh scent. When I think of warm, I don't think of like the fresh scents. Um, this is very fresh and it's very citrusy and it's very clean and I really, really like this. Not a super, super strong performer. Um, it is a little bit lighter, but I did really like this. I warmed it at the office, like I said, which was perfect there. And then also in my bedroom and right outside of our bedroom, like through the hallway. So this was really, really nice for that. So that's Mandarin Grapefruit Amber. Last but not least, I believe I actually warmed this in my last like empties video, I guess we'll call it because it was a few weeks <laughs> that I had gone through uh, the clamshells, but I broke out another aloe water and cucumber. Okay. We have a story along with this one. I love this scent and it is, it's a really good performer for being one of those like fresh and clean scents. It's kind of along the same lines as white tea and cactus where it's, I get that fresh, 
cucumber and that clean aloe type scent so it is a really great just clean scent so if you like that type i would totally give this one a try i am madly in love with this and i'm afraid that that <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to love it as much as I would like to because my husband hates this scent. <laughs> he actually, so I spent the day cleaning the house and he comes home from work and he walks in and he's like, what is that smell? It smells like mildew in here. Of all things, I was cleaning all day long and he says, he walks in and says it smells like mildew. I wanted to kind of jump off a bridge. <laughs> like you can't say that it smells like mildew and he says it does it smells like you like shampooed the carpets and then the carpets didn't dry for like ever his sniffer is incredibly broken so don't take his word for it this smells amazing and honestly like like I said I get this I get more of a clean scent from this this is clean aloe and like fresh sweet cool cucumber it's so good and I was so surprised with the performance on this because it is actually pretty strong and it actually lasts quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. I just thought just based on the scent description and based on the name of it, I just assumed it would be a lighter clean scent that would last maybe one or two days. I got, I, I mean, I have gotten at a solid like four days out of this um, previously. I am still warming this. I actually changed my warmers out yesterday um, to have this going. And in my open concept downstairs, this is going super strong. But the bars that I've worn before, I've gotten like four or five days out of. It, it really is amazing. <laughs> so I am fighting tooth and nail for this one. If you have warmed this, let me know how you like the aloe water and cucumber and what your thoughts are on it. So there you have it. That is what I have been warming through over the last week. I would love to hear what you have been warming and what you have been kind of in the mood for this last week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, keep, stay tuned for the video that's coming tomorrow because I'm going to have some new bring back my bar news. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye guys.